All right. So today I wanted to do a black cherry icy. Not really a smoothie, more like an icy, but kind of like a smoothie because I added some stuff in it. So real quick, black cherry, vegan, non-GMO, organic, all that stuff, you know, hick here. If you see a juice and it looks all fancy and great and awesome, and it doesn't say vegan on it, and it just says like cherry juice, it'd still be vegan. I'm saying this because of all the people who might not know these things. Then if you get a juice that doesn't say vegan and it says cherry juice, dark cherry juice, or whatever, and then underneath it would say like natural flavors, then there's a really great chance that it's not vegan. If it says vegan and has natural flavors, then it would be vegan. All right, you got that? So natural flavors, no vegan symbol, non-vegan. Natural flavors, vegan symbol, then it will be vegan because whatever the natural secret flavor that they wanted to add to it that they don't want to tell anybody in a world where we're not supposed to keep secrets anymore, you know, that would be vegan. Got it? All right, so there's a lot of tricky things on labels like that nowadays we're supposed to be in the world of awakening where nobody tells lies nobody holds secrets and all that crap but i found out over the last nine years it's kind of been like the opposite anyway so it's just the black cherry juice today right now and i have some plant vitamins it's calcium mostly calcium but it has a couple other things that are needed with the calcium it's nature's way plant um plant vitamin uh calcium and it's mostly red algae along with veggies and stuff i did add this I did add that, there's a scoop of each, and I did add this. What is it? It's Camu Camu powder, real potent vitamin C. All right, so, and I have ice in it, of course, and it's a really great flavor. Oh, and a half, a half of a, um, half of an organic frozen banana. So, yeah, it's really good, really good, really good. Dad, if you're watching, you probably think you like black cherries, or maybe is it mom that likes black cherries? Somebody in the family used to love black cherries. I think it's mom. So, uh. Nice, nice smoothie, real simple and easy. So then afterwards, of course, what am I going to do? I'm going to probably add maybe a little more juice. And then I'm going to add the ground up sunflower. I'm going to add probably a little bit more of that. Probably a little bit more of that. I'm going to turn it into chocolate. So you see that. I'm going to use a scoop of this raw organic non-GMO vegan meal stuff. Uh, 20 grams of protein in a scoop and a ton of whole food vitamins and minerals. I'm going to add the raw hemp, the ground chia. Chia is great on calcium as well. Lots of fiber in there and some protein. So this is mostly going to be my fiber and um, you know more calcium protein. And this is a protein guy. And this is an everything guy. All right. And I also use some of this in my black cherry that I'm drinking now. And I'll add a little bit more as well. Not my favorite brand. Use non-GMO and organic when you can. Always buy stuff that's recyclable if you can. Um, I had to buy this because the bags aren't recyclable. Like I said in my other videos, I have yet to find a container of hemp where it is um, non-GMO or organic and it comes in a container that can be recycled. This can be recyclable at my place. A lot of them um, come in five, sevens, and threes or whatever and fours. They can't be recycled. But mostly they come in bags and they don't they just don't take bags and I can't find drop off points. So I had to use this one, which is not a non-GMO organic one. So I had to I had to um, do that for now until I can track one down. Alright, so that's how I turned that basic black cherry icy awesomeness with a little bit of nutrition and everything into it. And then I'm gonna turn it into a chocolate black cherry with all this awesome stuff. Alright? All right. Love you guys back home. Love you all. Bye-bye.